gathered here are members of the Imo State Inauguration Committee to brief journalists on the preparation so far made towards ensuring a smooth and overcome May 29, 2019. The chairman of the committee used the opportunity to inform the public that every expenses made for the inauguration was done without a penny from the outgoing administration led by Governor Rocha Zokorocha. Because, as you would recall, I have said earlier that uh, following our composition and our inauguration, not only of our committee, but also the, the technical transition committee, the one headed by Dr. NSD, the former deputy governor of uh, um, Central Bank. Uh, the governor elect a man of due process, uh, conveyed the setting up of these two committees to the outgoing government and uh, sued for their understanding, for their preparation, and also requested the city government to also set up their own counterpart committees with a view to interfacing with the one in, in set up. So that's what I mean here when I said in the course of our work, because the government had a 31 member committee, uh, with a 31 member committee from the with the Tatuan member committee from um, the governor elect, and uh, these two committees set to work. And in the course of our work, we met twice with the outgoing government team, uh, believing that issues agreed upon will be strictly adhered to in, in, in their implementation. In the last couple of weeks, uh, the mass media, especially, uh, have not. The, the social media, to be precise, uh, was awash with the information and news that more than 50 million naira was released by the outgoing uh, Rochas Rochas government to my committee to assist in the innovation planning exercise. The chairman went further to explain that it is the constitutional right of every government to fund the inauguration of the incoming government. Despite the challenges, the chairman still believes that the committee will still do its best to ensure each free transition. In 2019, with an interdenominational church service at Grasshoppers International Handball Stadium, where at the time is 12 noon. It will be followed by art exhibition at Ayajoko Convention Center on Monday, May 27, 2019, by 11 a.m. Later same day, there will be a novelty football match by 4 p.m. at the Tananyam Stadium. Where maybe when I finish, I'll give you further details regarding each of these events. Two events are also scheduled for Tuesday, May 28, 2019. There will be an innovation lecture at uh, Ayajoko Convention Center by 10 a.m. It will be followed by a mega youth concert at the Grasshoppers International Ball Stadium by 2 p.m. On the main day, May 29, 2019, I hope those at the back, are you hearing me now? Yes. Okay, after you pay for this, so. <laughs> this shouting won't be for free. On the main day, May 2019, there will be swearing in of the governor elect, His Excellency Honorable Mekan Hidyohan, and his deputy, Honorable Engineer Gerard Irona, at Dan Anyam Stadium by 9 a.m. Uh, later in the evening of that same day, there should be a, a state banquet at the Joko Convention Center by 6 p.m. As activities marking the transition of power come May 29, 2019, is on top year, the people of the state believes that the incoming government of Emeka Ihedioha will bring more democracy dividends, as promised during his campaign.